Kyle Mohan Racing, hanging out at the shop in front of my 1,000 horsepower three-rotor MX-5. And because of you guys, we're going to do what you asked for. We're about to start a hybrid Renesis build. That's because you asked for it. So building a hybrid Renesis. Everybody's asked for it. We're going to do it. I've actually built one of these motors in the past, and if you follow the channel, you can actually see some of the footage from the talks we've done about that motor. It was featured on Moto IQ and was ran in competition in one of the Mazda Trix touring cars, a Mazda RX-8, and it actually won its West Coast Championship. So I know there's actually a lot of talk about if these motors are reliable, if they're successful. For KMR and Mazda Trix, we have already had success with the Renesis hybrid configuration. And really what we're talking about here is utilizing the late ER 2004 to 2011 six port Renesis side plates, both your front, middle, and rear, even though they're not all shown here, in combination with a earlier generation RX-7 housing that came out of the GSLS E13B motors. And the reason these components actually work together is the Renesis and the GSLSE both share the common feature that the water O-ring grooves, your coolant seals for the rotary motor, are actually already in the rotor housing. These particular rotor housings are one of the lesser expensive housings new. It's less than a Mazda RX-8 housing, so it adds more viability to this combination, whether it be for racing, hot rodding, or just fun. One of the things we really liked about it and why I'm going to build another, that's what this video is about, is the start of it, and why Mazda Tricks built it, was the Renesis motor has the ability to flow a lot of intake air, but it does not necessarily match up in its exhaust flow. By adding a traditional peripheral exhaust port to this combination, it's actually one of the higher volumetric flowing rotary engines out there that's in 13B configuration. Some of the tips and tricks you have to do, and I think is probably what some people overlook in these configurations, is the RX-8 rotors must be modified. I use Mazda tricks. These are our normal uh, 2004 to 09, even though it says 011 on there. Those, these, these came out of an 0, uh, 04 motor. Bone stock Renesis rotors. The only modification that's a must is the apex seal groove must be deepened, and this is a very technical, difficult process. If at any point the apex seal groove is widened too much, deepened too much, or if somehow it gets even just the slightest bend, then your OEM RX-7 seal will not fit, will not move, you'll have compression loss, and if for any reason it gets any twist in it, in this modification, you'll actually lead to either apex seal breakage or corner seal breakage. And if you notice, when you go to a deep groove in the Renesis rotor, not only do you use the RX-7 apex seal, but you also use the RX-7 corner seal. The RX-8 apex seal, is a metal plug and not deep enough to hold the RX-7 seal. You can see I've got them laid out here. Your RX-7 seal is substantially taller. It's got higher beam strength, so when it passes across that peripheral RX-7 port, the apex seal won't sag due to heat. RX-8 seals just can't stand long-term use in this peripheral hybrid application. Uh, you could probably run a ceramic RX-8 seal, but that's expensive. So cheaper option, modify your rotors. Mazda Tricks does that, send them to KMR. That way you can run a traditional RX-7 seal with your traditional RX-7 rotor housing in combination with your Renesis motor. And again, this all really came down to not only, obviously, did Mazda Tricks want to win our class and, and beat everybody else by creating a motor that just made plain more horsepower, but we were also trying to relieve an issue under 
Modified conditions or aggressive conditions, Renesis motors have a tendency to stagnate heat around this exhaust port, shrink this area of the side plate, and often have water seal failures in this area. By getting this EGT and this heat out through more exhaust port, we saw basically less heat stagnation and better wear characteristics in our Renesis motor. Um, I prefer using the Renesis rotors in this combination. I don't really know of anybody out there uh, running earlier rotors with any real testing on it. Um, I'd be wary of it not having this, the, uh, the scraper ring um, while you're running this exhaust port. So my recommendation, great way to start your project, get some GSLSE rotor housings, get an RX-8 motor, and that way you've got your side plates, your rotors, your gears, your shaft, and you're on your way to a hybrid Renesis rotary build. How do you like that? We're going to put this together. So this is just the first video of many. Make sure to follow. We're going to be cleaning up these rotors, doing some more modifications for performance, new bearings. This is a lap side housing. We're going to do some more porting. Basically create a hot rod hybrid Renesis. Join me. Follow me. KMR, Mazda Tricks.